So this is a quick look at integrating a couple of different tools for making ebooks or uh, any kind of book really in Scrivener. The first place I like to start is in a mind mapping tool and you can use the mind mapping tool of your choice as long as it exports to what's called OPML. The uh, It's a markup language. It's an outlining language. So let's create the uh, framework for a new book here. We'll have our customer problem. We will have our uh, chapter one. And then of course uh, if you follow Avinash Kashik's see, think, do model see think do which is a way of saying you know here's the problem is I see the problem I think about the solution and I execute on the problem on the solution <clears throat> and you could of course do this uh, multiple times so here, let's do chapter two chapter three and chapter four so we have four chapters for our new book and then we'll add in a final um, conclusion so that's our framework for the book and of course you would you would put a real book together not just this, this mock-up let's save that and export our OPML outline Next, we would fire up Scrivener. I have an existing book here, but I'll, we can start a brand new one. Oops. Let's start a new project. I'll start with a nice blank book. Pretend this is a new book. So here's my blank slate. And of course, in Scrivener, it has things like outliners and, and notepads and cards and stuff like that. But that, to me, is uh, a little cumbersome. So I would go ahead and import that file that I just made. I can delete this opening section. And now I've got my outline ready to write a book about the topics that I see. One thing that's handy about Scrivener is that it makes it very easy to move content from one book to another. So if you have some uh, existing matter that you want to reuse, it's very straightforward to do so. So for example, in the conclusion, I have things about the author and stuff that are pretty stock. They they reoccur time and again. So I will uh, I can just uh, delete that there, and then I've got my conclusion. I've got my newsletter advertisements, my biography, all that stuff uh, goes in. And of course, um, for putting in a cover image, it's very straightforward, very easy to do that. From after the writing part, which admittedly is really the, the hardest part of all, uh, it's a simple matter to create the book itself. So let's use this existing book here since it's already written. And my choices at this point, once I've got uh, a cover page and I've got the cover graphic uh, loaded up, I've got all my content, it looks good, it's been proofed, etc. I want to compile it. And I want to compile, I can compile it to any number of formats. So I could do an ebook, I could do a paperback novel. And the manual explains the differences. They're largely types of formatting. From here, I would pick the output format. So if I wanted to take it to print, which is what you would use if you wanted to use, say, Amazon Create Space, which is the print on demand service, you can just dump straight to uh, Office Documents. Built in are three different formats for ebooks, which is handy, and even uh, just straight up HTML and other markup languages. So in this case, let's do an ebook. Let's do a Kindle ebook. Make sure that I've got my page breaks set up here. Make sure that I have a that graphic that I loaded at the very top here is the cover article. If there's any other uh, little uh, adjustments or layout things, I can make those adjustments, and then I hit the compile button. And it does its thing. Now, one of the things that I enjoy doing is I enjoy using Evernote to do a lot of the writing on the road. <clears throat> so I can write up content in here. And then I'll just copy and paste the text itself back into Scrivener when I, uh, once, I've, once I've thought up what it is that I want to write about. And once Scrivener is done with its compile, uh, you get a lovely... Amazon Kindle file that you can either send to your Kindle if you wanted to uh, or open in the uh, native uh, desktop viewer. So fire up 
<clears throat> my Kindle viewer here. And you can proof it and make sure that it looks okay, that uh, everything is in place and that all the formatting came through and survived. Um, which almost always it does these days. One of the little gotchas is that you have to install the Kindle Gen uh, tool from Amazon, which is free, um, but it does require you to uh, to have it installed in order for, it, uh, for a Scrivener to make uh, those types of files. This tool is very versatile because one of the things I have done is I do my weekly newsletter in here. So each section of the newsletter, I have all the formatting from my email service provider. I have uh, HTML, raw HTML, and then I assemble the newsletter um, section by section. And instead of making a book out of it, I simply go straight to an HTML web page. And that is how I can compile a newsletter in uh, that covers the, the weekend review um, within about anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes, depending on how much extra writing I, I want to do. But Scrivener is very handy for uh, publishing at, at scale um, in a multiple different formats and very efficiently. So I, have, uh, I, I would strongly recommend you pick up a copy. And we'll have a link uh, in uh, the show notes uh, for this video as well on YouTube and on my website. So thank you for watching. I hope the uh, brief tour of the workflow from uh, mind map to input file to output file was helpful.